become lover of wisdom. Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will arise from this guided inner journey much more confident, much more comfortable, and much more powerful than before. These guided meditations are meant to complement the teachings of my book From Fear to Freedom Through Greek Philosophy. The subconscious really receives these messages as instructions. This is something the ancient Greeks were very well aware of and that's why they had special dream incubation temples dedicated to the god of dreams, Morpheus, that we have heard of also in The Matrix. They called this type of learning hypnagogia. I've written and recorded them with a clear intention of helping people move from a place of anger, fear, frustration to a place of calm, confident self-leadership, essentially inner freedom. This is the place from where we can thrive and flourish as human beings. The ancient Greeks called this state eudaimonia. Let's begin our beautiful journey. Take a deep breath Inhaling through the nose, holding that breath, allowing it to spread throughout your whole body, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And then exhale slowly through the mouth, dropping your jaw open allowing any stress to flow out of you. Observe the natural rhythm of your breath, like the waves of the sea. Your shoulders are relaxing. Your whole right arm is relaxing. Your whole left arm is relaxing. The abdomen area is relaxing. Your whole left leg is relaxing. Your whole right leg is relaxing. You feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into your chair. The foamy waves ebbing and flowing on the shore. You are now walking along that shore alone, your feet sinking into the soft, warm sand. Inhale the salty sea breeze and feel at peace as the warm sun kisses your face. An island basks in the distance, a lush green jewel in the sparkling sea. It has always been there, but you hadn't noticed it. It beckons you to its golden shores. Your curiosity is aroused. You decide you want to swim towards it. You take the first step. The water is warm and welcoming. Slowly walking into the water, it reaches your knees, your waist. You push outwards with your arms, allowing the sea to envelop you, support you. 
As you float freely in its warm embrace, you feel cleansed and relaxed. Feel yourself floating, weightless, flowing. You see dolphins playing in the distance near the island. The seabed below is a glorious mosaic of life and colors. As you approach the island, you swim past ancient ruins. Finally, you have reached the sandy shore. Take a deep breath to marvel at the exotic beauty around you. A white robe rests on a rock in front of you with your name embroidered. On it lies a gold medallion. You wear these and begin walking along the shore. You see something shining in the sand. A golden statue of a winged goddess. When you touch it, it transforms into a woman, a priestess, her garments flowing in the breeze. Her warm smile seems familiar to you, like a long lost friend. Welcome to Eudaimonia, she says. This is a place of wisdom, wellness, and wonder. Now she turns inland, towards the palm trees, and signals for you to follow her. You pass a bright pink bougainvillea, then a beautiful sundial. You see a crystal waterfall and listen to its sound. Then you reach a beautiful amphitheater. The priestess turns to you and says, have you ever noticed that your life is like a movie or a play? We are all actors on a stage. And just like a professional actor has to learn how to focus entirely on their own performance, we too must focus on our own acting and role. We can't control where we were born or how our parents are or what the color of our skin is. We can't control how other people treat us. You can only control what you do with the cards that are dealt in life. Now, you may have noticed that some professional actors who are very successful sometimes go on to become producers and directors once they have done well in their given roles. You, too, can go on to control more and more of your life once you have mastered the roles that you've been given. Yes, there are a lot of things in our life that are outside our control, but we have a lot more agency than we like to think. We can, through our determination and skill, learn how to shape our own destiny. Can we control life? No. But we can shape it through our thoughts and actions. Epictetus, the Greek philosopher, said, Keep in mind
mind that you are an actor in a play, that is just the way the producer wants it to be. In short, that is the wish of the creator. If he wants you to act the role of a beggar, see that you play it skillfully. And similarly, if the part is that of a cripple or an official or a private person, whatever your role is, your job is to put on a splendid performance of the role you have been given. The priestess tells you, I invite you to really focus on this lesson during the days ahead. Take a moment to formulate a positive statement about how you will be this week, this month, this year in the life you are living. Create a positive statement in your mind beginning with I am. For example, I am confident and certain of myself, acting from love and wisdom at all times. Placing your right hand over your heart, repeat it in your mind mentally. This is the oath to yourself. No matter what may happen in your life from now on, you will remember this oath, this deep affirmation. No one can ever take it away from you. Your transformation is complete. It's time to return. And as you descend the stairs, a golden mirror appears in front of you. In it, you can see your future. It is a bright, positive future. See yourself walking with confidence and certainty in your future. A smile on your face, your shoulders back, and your head held high. You are acting with ethos, handling all your affairs and businesses from a place of integrity, truth, attracting the right people. You are enjoying and appreciating life, enthusiastic and passionate about your work creating and attracting more affluence and abundance in your life. Love. You follow the priestess back in the direction of the shore, past the waterfall, past the sundial, past the bougainvillea, Finally, you arrive at the palm trees at the golden beach. The priestess smiles at you. This is where we part, she says. Go forth and shine your light. And if sometimes you feel like you want to renew yourself, eudaimonia is always your home and I will always be here for you. I have your back. I will protect you. You turn and gaze at the brilliant sunset. 
When you turn back, the priestess is no longer there. There is only the small statue resting in the sand. You are not saddened by this. You know that the priestess will always be with you, that you can always come back to the island of Eudaimonia.